Thank you so much, the writers of this. This is the most Trump thing. I'm about to lose this, and um, I mean, it might be a personal attack. Maybe he's seen my channel. It does check out either way. So I asked you guys in the previous video what country you'd like to see me play as next in the new Earth 2018 mod. And, well, I don't know what else I expected. I, I should have known. This is it. But the good thing is, we should be able to explore a little bit more into the scenario, since there's only so much we can learn from autoplay mode. So I know that each nation gets their own, like, unique ability, unique leader ability. I guess we get, like, this, uh, propaganda broadcaster, which I'd imagine is a really hot Korean woman that just talks about how glorious I am. Oh, this is great, too. Oh, man. Okay. All units outside of friendly territory receive negative five combat strength. We're not gonna be expanding all that much, I guess. Obviously, since we're playing as best Korea, I fully expected we were going to have some major problems. Yeah, this comes as no surprise whatsoever. But hey, at least we got just tons of faith. Wow. Clearly my people believe in me. By any chance, if you wanted to see me play the Hunger Games mod in Minecraft, well, first of all, that's never going to happen. But this is the closest you're going to get. So what are we possibly going to build? We've basically run out of space in this small little peninsula. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do like an infantry unit. Wait, no, let's go with a traitor, actually. We gotta fix this shitty economy. It wasn't too long ago when I was playing as Kimmy for the Civ 5 Earth 2014 mod. Um, yeah, this is, this is definitely bringing back memories. Our research is terrible. Same could be said about civics, but then again, North Korea on social media, that shit would be lit. Kim Jong-un needs to have way more followers than Trump on Twitter. We just need to try to shitpost more. Ooh, now I could try to increase tourism. So instead of just getting Dennis Rodman to come to our country, Maybe there's a chance we can get Shaq to come along with him. Actually, this is pretty cool. I forgot that the whole government system is in play. These late game ideologies have a little bit more of an impact in Civ 6. This is very important. Somewhere in the world, we need to find an ally. And um, I think, I think I already have someone in mind. I don't really even care if they give us much production. I'm just looking at their units. Please help support us in a war. I'm also gonna send a few envoys to Vietnam just because they're close by as well as their maritime and we definitely need the extra food. As I said before, there's not much space here, so I should probably create as many core units as possible. There we go, that's better. I just noticed I'm kinda trapped here between the Chinese and the worst Koreans. Unfortunately, our submarines are never gonna be able to get to the Pacific. What the hell? Okay, come on, this, that's not fair. You're in my land, I'm not in your land. You need to get the hell out. Oh God, no, okay, we also have just made daddy mad. Um. Let's, let's, for the other guy, I, I did say we'll do whatever we want, but for him, my apologies. I really don't want to make Papa angry. Oh, what's going on with that plane? No, you kind of worry me. Why is it, why is it doing that? You know, just looking at this, uh, Russia doesn't seem to be too hard to take. At least this city specifically. I have no idea how many units they would have for backup. I'd imagine quite a bit. But if we catch him with his pants down, and maybe he's involved in another war, we might want to try it. Yeah, that, that's what I feared. I wanted to make sure that he wasn't allied to Trump, but uh, of course he, he is. So no matter what, I would be going to war with the US as well. The world better be ready because North Korea has its first traitor. So who are we going to be cool with? China seems like the obvious choice, but is there anything better? Yeah, no, not really. All right, let's just go to Beijing. There's the first declaration of war between, I'm not really sure. Oh, it's Iran. I, I should have known this. So he's at war with India. Uh, that's kind of a big deal. At this point, as I wait for the thousands of notifications to go away from my screen, I I'm just hoping that one of my neighbors go to war. That would be best case scenario for us. I if that doesn't happen, there's honestly nothing I can do. Which, there's more good news. Um, this is a war against a city-state, though. Japan, would you need any help with your anime production? There's gotta be something we can do. I don't know. Do you need inspiration for horrible places? Fly a few writers in. We got you. Yeah, Papa's starting to really scare me right now. Um, I, I guess it's just because I have more visibility inside of his borders, but he has a lot of units. Justin, you take your smirky ass out of here. I, I don't care if you denounced me. The last thing I want to see is his face right now. Oh, Pantheon in the year 2018. Um, all right. Unfortunately, I don't think we can really make use of any of this stuff. Well, we are getting a few lumber mills up since uh, there's some unimproved tiles as well as, uh, yeah. I think we could definitely use this, even if it is gonna take 25 turns. I don't know if Putin is trying to retake some of his former Soviet territory. It kind of looks to be that way. I believe he's going after Kazakhstan. Although, uh, yeah, Afghanistan's dealing with some stuff too. Of course, Pakistan grabbed that away. Hey, you know what? I will take any friends I can get. This is the first notification of a leader that's actually happy. You got a good look to you. I think 
I think we can be friends. Malcolm, what do you mean I can do better than this? I'm on a fucking peninsula with no food. You know, you could send some aid my way if you want to help. So this is going to be really important to keep in mind. If Putin continues to attack this uh, city-state here, we might want to try to take his settlement out this way. It might not be very well protected. Oh my god, thank you so much. I really didn't think I was going to get any friends here. I, I, I knew it. I think we're going to get along just fine. Angela? Are, are you going through some shit? Do you realize who you're talking to? I think she has Alzheimer's or something. Well, let's take advantage of her horrible medical situation and say yes to this. Again, Putin is still attacking. Oh, that is tempting. I'm starting to get friends, so I don't know if I want to just immediately declare war. That could kind of ruin everything. But with most of his units over here, I'm assuming it's really tempting. Now, I'm only allied to the Philippines, which uh, obviously Rodrigo Duterte will not be able to help us much in a war against Russia. Unless we captured some drug dealers we wanted them to kill. Maybe this Manhattan Project isn't a smart idea. I shouldn't be trying to destroy the second city in my empire. Perfect. So we now have a uh, new Benito for our military faction. I'm sure he'll do a great job being just a complete disappointment. Yeah, so I'm really starting to fear China. I don't know if they're about to go after me or maybe South Korea, maybe Japan, but um, let's be real. It's probably me. I ain't doing shit with my life. Ooh, so I can make things really interesting. I, I guess Mexico is down to be my friend. I can very easily get an alliance, which means, there it is, I might be able to pull Enrique into a war against Trump if I attack South Korea. Yeah, I've actually been going around just getting as many alliances with some of these declared friends as possible. Italy and Germany would help against Russia, kind of. Wait a second, shouldn't I have a reconquest, Castus Belli? I probably should going after South Korea, but whatever, it's fine. Ooh, there is some pretty big news. Donald Trump's going after Russia, and so is Mexico. That really doesn't do much for us, because I, I doubt there's actually going to be any conflict. Still interesting. Oh, I think it might be because Putin continues to attack city-states. That might be it. Just like the first video, most of the world just despises Putin. So this is really good. Um, I, I should definitely- well, I've already denounced them, so that's not a big deal. I could still declare that formal war, but I don't think the timing is perfect yet. Damn, South Korea, what's going on with all your units? You uh, are looking pretty, pretty sexy. I like it. I might need to move in. All right, I think I'm tired of waiting. Let's, let's do it. Let's go after Putin. I mean, most people should be cool with this, right? Kind of. Here we go. I, I'm really hoping this is going to go smoothly, but I doubt it. Again, this is best case scenario. I mean, he has like no units over here. I should be able to defend him even if he starts to bring reinforcements. Um, I, I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, and this is a positive. He was trading with me. So there's some more gold right there. This is going to be an immediate problem. I can't do anything to his cities. Oh my god, this is horrible. So let's see how he responds. I did take my submarine and- Oh, okay, well my submarine is now dead. Oh, and this tank unit took quite a bit of damage. Oh, this- This is not good. As I said, I should be able to defend myself pretty well. At least the North Korean AI was able to do it previously. I, and I'm- I'm better than the AI, right? I hope so. Luckily, I'm only attacking this city, which if I were to go after South Korea or- if I was for some reason going after China, it would have been even harder. Please, Putin, leave me alone. I I made a mistake, Daddy. Don't don't hurt me. Oh, they're using strategic bombers to pillage my uranium. That's that's pretty bad. Although I don't have the Manhattan Project anyway, so that's kind of a waste. I do want to point out, though, um, I am screwed in basically all ways. Their modern armors are like unstoppable. I can't do anything to them, even with my infantry army. It ain't doing shit. Again, as I said, we'll be safe. I, I don't think he's gonna get through this encampment, but um, I, I feel like the North Korean- Oh, hey, what's, what's going on, Donald? Oh, he likes this, since we have a mutual enemy. All right. Anyways, as I was saying, I feel like um, Earth 2018, for the North Korean start at least, is much harder than Earth 2014 in Civ 5. We might actually kill a unit here, though. Let's see. We're gonna kill his helicopter with my plane, I think. Let let's hope. No, it's still not dead yet. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. I am so dead. Papa doesn't love me anymore. I can see that now. Also, this is sounding kind of sexual. Thank you so much, the writers of this. This is the most Trump thing. I'm about to lose this, and, um, I mean, it might be a personal attack. Maybe he's seen my channel. It does check out either way. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, no, I have no chance. China can literally just walk straight in here. I'm safe against Russia. Uh, who knows with 
South Korea, I'd probably have a tough time too with them. But yeah, no, um, China is going to be able to take this pretty easily. I'm going to try to hold them back though. We'll see. Oh yeah, I can't even see what's really going on. I just see red numbers flashing. That's probably not a good thing. I think the thing is, you gotta finish the Manhattan Project. You know, it's 34 turns into this campaign. We could have finished that by turn, like, 14 or something like that. And this would obviously keep us a little bit safer. Alright, and I'm dead. Okay, that was a turn later. I already died. Like I said, this is this is difficult. We're gonna have to think of a strategy um, if I were to do this again. But I would like to maybe try someone else one more time. Um, the Rise and Fall expansion might be out by then, so it, it could take a while before I return to this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Drew Meltzer, Wyon, Dank Meme Dealer 69420, Furry Cruz, Ethan Johnson, Hitler Did Nothing, Demonetized, Nick Tang, Matthew Ellis, Kirby, Stormblade, Elfie, Hayden the Exile Brown, Jung Cooks Bay, Elijah Senpai, and finally, Drew, you didn't say my last name. Thank you so much.